folks, for those of you who happen to miss um, Thursday's class and want to know what we were working on, here's what you got to understand. We're going to actually write in response to what we watched. And you were supposed to watch Michael Wesh's Mediated Culture. That's about a 15-minute presentation where he talks about how communication in media affects any type of culture and what kind of results we tend to see. And it was really, hopefully, kind of interesting look at you and stuff around you and the world. So here's what your assignment is. Social media questions, interactive media. You will be expected to produce a well-developed piece of writing. First, your question will be directed toward the Michael Wesh video talk called Mediated Culture. You will need to analyze your thoughts and make a rational statement. Your viewpoint should be supported by specific reference to the video itself as part of your evidence. But guys, the other part is your own thoughts backed up with real world, real life examples, right? In other words, you are arriving at a conclusion. You, your show of work portion is to refer to the video you watched. So I'm basically, I, based on your answer, I'm looking to see that you watched the thing and got it. Guys, I do not, do not want you to tell me what you watched. That's just like when I ask you to tell me about building a house and you tell me what a hammer is and you tell me what nails are. That's a definition. I give it to you. You give it to me. Content refer. That's not it. I need to see that you got the concepts that Michael Wesh put before you. I want to see that you make deeper thinking connections. So I'm looking for you to write about a page. And really, to do so, you need to have four points you cover. And that's what we're going to talk about. So first thing, put your name. And then you're going to write for me. And guys, this is where you need to edit. And maybe you like to write on a Word document and then copy and paste. I don't care. But whatever you do, you need to think about this. Based on Michael Wesh's video, Mediated Culture, how does social media impact your culture? Meaning, based on what we learned about social media, and Michael Wesh really works hard to define that, how you interact with your world and how your world interacts with you, how do you think that world impacts you directly, your culture, the way you function within it, the things that you do? Okay, and the first thing you've got to do once you create that idea, and you should think about this hard, it should not be something that's just really general. Like you shouldn't say social media impacts my world by making me spend more time on my computer. Well, that's pretty generic. I want you to really think about how it affects your culture, and your culture is how you dress, how you interact, how you talk to people, what you listen to, what you watch, what you do with your spare time, um, your viewpoints on the world and how you see things, how you believe about things based on what you see. That's all part of your culture. So I might write, and this is just an example, please do not copy this one. Social, and notice I'm going to begin my topic sentence by restating my question. Social media impacts my culture by... Um, let me think about what I want to say here. I had this in my head, guys. It just went bye-bye. Um, Maybe I wrote something like this. Social media impacts my culture by creating a world where I can communicate online. However, my face-to-face -face communication skills are reduced. That's an example. That's called a topic sentence. And the first thing you want to do is write a really precise topic sentence. Think deep. How are you different? How does it impact you? 
the second thing you're going to want to do, and I'm just making this number two so you can see what you do, is explain that clearly. So me, I might, this is where I would use my real life examples. I would say, here is why I can communicate online if I'm a kid. I can text, I can tell things, I can be witty and clever, I can make references, I post things to Facebook, I take really cute, clever pictures. I imitate often the things I see. I imitate often the things I see. For example, I made this Vine video where I was imitating this or watching the media from a movie that. And I give specific references. Explain. Third thing, support. That's where I provide examples. And I might also talk about, I, this is also where I can talk about Michael Wet, where Michael Wesch. What did he say about that? Maybe when he talked about how kids face book through class. Your examples. Okay, right there. Sorry, I've got the hiccups, guys. And finally, you need to conclude. Um, conclusions are always a way that you restate, restate your main topic sentence in a conclusive way. So I might say something like, um, so today's social media has overtaken the front porch mentality of America. It is where we present our most social face. But is it a real face? You know, that's another good thought. If it's what, is it really who I am or who I want my people to see? So I might, might prevent our social face. It is a world where we decide what others see of us. It is not always the real person. Now, maybe there's, there's good things and bad things from all of this, but this is just a short way to do it. So here's what I'm saying. You're going to write a really well-explained paragraph. I mean well-explained. You're going to have a topic sentence where you answer this question. You're going to explain what you mean by that in a couple sentences. You're going to support through lots of specific examples, referencing social media, things you watched, your viewpoints, all to prove this point, and then you're con con going to reach a conclusion in two or three sentences. All of that is going to be one big paragraph that you write and hit submit on. Okay? Best of luck to you. Bye.